Hey guys, today we're just going to teach you a little bit about how to do this first isometric drawing. So first thing I do want to do is actually paste the picture into the drawing so I can actually, instead of having to flick between the actual web page and Fusion, I'm just going to insert it. So I just go up to insert canvas and I'm just going to insert from my computer and I know it's ISO 1. I'm just going to place that in, in there on a face. So I'm just going to select that face there, make it a little bit bigger so I can actually read it. And I'm just going to flip it so it goes around like that. Okay, um, I'll just move that actually. I'm just going to go move move the canvas. I'm just going to go edit canvas again. I'll just move that up into this top corner here so I can sort of see what I'm doing. Okay, so then next thing we want to do we want to create a new component. So create a new component and standard component. And we just check all this data. Okay, and we'll activate it is the first thing we'll do. So we create component here. Then that's going to draw a, draw a sketch on the front plane. And the first dimension we've got to do is 100 millimeters long and 50 millimeters high. And we have some 45 degree lines in here. So I'm just going to draw this front shape here that's going around this area here. Okay, and we can do, deal with the dimensions in the top part later on. Okay, so I'll just go up and grab the line tool. And first thing I might do is I'll make it a construction line so I can sort of work out this sort of stuff here. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is go up 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters up. And I'll start to draw another line in a construction line. And let's make that 100 millimeters long. Okay, so we've got 100 millimeters. Draw another line back down to the, the baseline. I'm just going to use that as, an, as our. Uh, go back across. The first thing we do, we've got that. So we get our first construction lines done. Next thing, I'm going to draw a line at 45. Um, this goes up 50, 45. And it's this indicator here is 20 millimeters down. We've got 30 millimeters across, 20 millimeters down. So what I can do, I'll just draw and convert this back into a real line now. And we're going to go across 30 millimeters. Press enter. And then we'll draw another line back down. 20 millimeters down. 20 millimeters. And then we're going to go back across. Okay, it says here we've got to do another 30. And we're going to go back from the other side. 30 across this way. And we'll go down 20 millimeters. And now we can join that up between there to there. We've got that drawing pretty much sorted. Now, these 45s are interesting, so we've got to go 20 millimeters down. Okay, it's this part here. So let's just go across, we'll go back to construction line again. Draw down 20 millimeters. Got that one. Now I can actually convert this back from a construction line at 45 degrees. I'm just going to join it on there and we'll go from here down 20 millimeters. And I'll just draw a line there. Okay, now this is where we can get uh, use some of our constraints and we measure this angle here and we'll make that 45 degrees. Okay, and then we'll go back here to this one. 45 degrees. Okay, and we just have to fill that line in here between here and here. Okay, and we should be able to finish this sketch. I think we're we missing any parts here. Finish that sketch. 
I think I'm missing some a line here actually. So I've just got to go back into that sketch. Um, I'm just going to re-edit that sketch again. Edit sketch. I'm going to go down here. Okay, now it's drawn, gone to blue, and I'll finish that sketch off. Now, how far back do we actually have to go? We have to go back. What's that? Maybe 68 millimeters back, it says. So we'll extrude that back 68 millimeters. Press enter. Okay, now I've got a little bit confused in, a little bit confusing with this diagram here. So let's just go back into the uh, canvases, and I'll move that canvas across a little bit. I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay. Now we've got to have this next little groove that we've got to build in is, is 10 millimeters down. And so 26 across, 10 millimeters down. Okay, so what I might do, let's go, we're going to edit on this, create a new sketch on this face here. And I'm going to use construction lines again. So I'm going to construct across 26 millimeters across there. 26 millimeters. And go down 26 millimeters there. Okay, and then now I can actually convert that into so the line will go down 10 millimeters down. Okay, finish that sketch. Oops. We should extrude that, I think, that one there, yep. And we'll send that all the way through distance, all. And it's going to do as a cut. And we go OK. And I'm going to go back up to this canvas here. And we'll just delete that out. Don't need that anymore. And that's our first object drawn. Thank you.